Good morning, everyone. It's Wake My Light. Today, we're going to go over all the different action bar options that you really have with LVY. Right. So first, you can go into LVY. So you can do slash LVY, or you can hit escape and go to LVY. And then we're going to go to the action bars tab here. And then we're going to go to player bars. So first, you'll be in general, then you go to player bars. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to select the different action bars that you want to edit. Right. Uh, so here we're just going to look at action bar one just to start. And we're going to start from the top here, right? So you have backdrop, inherent global fade, mouse overs, click through, that kind of thing, right? Um, so the first thing I usually do, especially if I don't want to see my bar all the time or I don't want to see it in combat or that kind of thing, is I'm going to do an inherent global fade. So what that allows you to do is um, if you're not targeting someone, if you're not casting a spell, um, if you're not in combat, it's going to actually fade that action bar, right? So you see right now, I'm actually targeting someone with it uh, with it on, and then, but once I'm not selecting anyone, you see that's gone. If I was to cast my mount, it'll go ahead and do the same thing. Um, you can have as far as many bars as you want, of course, or whatever you need to do. Um, same thing with, you can do the same thing with all your action bars if you really wanted to. So action bar two, three, you can do that with all of them, okay? Um, the next thing you see is gonna be click through, right? So what this allows you to do is if you have it op that option there, you can actually click through the action bar. This is really helpful if you have an action bar that you don't really need, that you never really need to click on at all, but you won't be able to click things behind it. This is especially useful if you have action bars that you don't want to have fade. Um, you don't want to have fade, you, so you always want to see the bar. But you have it set, all your buttons set up how you want. Uh, and let's say you get into a vehicle or something, or you get into like the shell game from back in BFA, um, and you might have stuff that hovers over it. You can use this to be able to click through those action bars um, because if you also if you hover over the action bar. Um, if you were to mouse mouse over it, it might show up. So doing this will allow that will allow you to be able to click through it, mm -hmm. right? Um, you can also do keep size keep size ratio. This I believe is on by default, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, and then the other thing is show empty buttons, right? So you see here that I have show empty buttons. Uh, so you see like mouse button four, shift mouse button five, shift mouse mouse button four are seen. But if I didn't want those seen, I could just do that, right? So for some people, it looks more clean. For me, I think it's more clean if I show empty buttons, um, just because it's easier for me to, for me to kind of decipher and stuff. Um, but I might sh change some, some of that in the future. Who knows? Um, the next thing that I'll highlight is your anchor points for your bar settings. So if you see this action bar two here, right? Um, that is the one that's underneath my bar or underneath my health bar, as well as uh, this action bar here, um, you see this anchor point bottom left, right? So it's, that's where it's saying where is that first button really set up at. So if we go to, that's for action bar one. So if we go to action bar two, we see that's top left. So the first button is at function, function three, right? If I wanted to change it, right? So let's say I want the first button to be top right, right? I would change it and you see how all my buttons actually shift and now my first button is that top right button there. Um, so you could set this up however you want, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and you see at each time all the buttons rearrange themselves, right? So go back to top left. So another one here would be, I believe this is action bar six or seven. Let me see here. Right, so action bar six. Or sorry, action bar seven. This is the one. This is one here. Um, I set this up to mirror what my Brazer or my Corsair Simtar would look like. So this bottom button is my is one through ten, one four seven ten. Middle buttons, top buttons. Uh, so I have it arranged in that respect, and so I have my anchor point in my bottom left. So I want that to be my first button, and then it's gonna just go through the, the items, right? Um. The next thing you could look at is how many buttons you want to display. So most are gonna you're gonna want you know 12 buttons that kind of thing. However, like for my setup, I actually have a bar. Uh, it is action bar. Which one is it? Six. Six. So action bar six. 
This is the one that's over here on the corner next to Action Bar 2. It just has uh, cooldowns I don't exactly need um, to be keybound because I have them keybound somewhere else. Uh, but I want that information to see like cooldown and that kind of thing. Um, you can actually say how many buttons do you want, um, buttons per row, that kind of thing, right? So like for this one, I usually enable click through so I can click through it. Um, action bar one, I usually enable click through as well um, at a minimum. Uh, sometimes do it for two as well, but I swap things around sometimes on action bar two. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind is that if you have click through enabled, um, you can't move things around because you can't click on the action bar. So you'd have to go back into LVUI and deselect click through change what you want and then you can re-enable it it only takes a few seconds but for some people if they move stuff around constantly or if they're like if they're in pvp and they're always moving things around this can sometimes be a nuisance but if you have click through enabled it's very nice especially if um sometimes your mouse may go astray or something you don't want to move you don't want to accidentally move something this is an easy way to do that so that you you don't have to worry about it um so those are some of your some of your options. Um, the other thing to look at is if you want to enable cooldowns and stuff. But I'll do that in a different video. So if you want to see your cooldown text and that kind of thing, as well as different things that would uh, in block those cooldowns cooldown numbers from showing. Um, so there's obviously a lot more options that you that you can have in action in your action bars for LVY. Uh, but this is the these are the main ones that I really f focus on or that are really pertinent. Um, remember, too, that you can always move them around, right? So all your action bars, if you toggle your anchors, all your action bars are going to have the numbers associated with them here. And almost everything is snappable, right? So if I have, have it here, it, I can snap it wherever I need to snap it to automatically. And if you don't want to snap it, you just hold shift and you can move it however you want and it will not snap. But then once you let go of shift, it'll snap. You also have sticky frames. And they actually show you here too, um, different options that you have for it. So that is it here. Make sure to like and subscribe this video. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, comments or complaints, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video to let me know how I'm doing. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash wake my light. And I hope you guys all have a fan. Fantastic freaking day.